In the other example that we mentioned previously, if an individual has decided to keep working at age 65 and because their group plan continues to be their primary coverage, they have been able to delay getting Part B of Medicare. If this is the case, there's a couple of extra steps that you're going to need to take to get Part B of Medicare and then start your open enrollment. The first step in the process is you will need to take a form to your employer and have them fill this out for you. This simply allows you to demonstrate that you have had creditable coverage elsewhere and will allow you to get Part B at a later date without having to incur any late enrollment penalty. There is also a second form that you're going to need to get and fill out and bring to Social Security Department and explain to them that you are ready to start Part B of Medicare, that you have had creditable coverage, and that you want to start your Part B at a future date. Also, if you have any questions about this process, please give me a call. I will be very happy to assist you in each step of the process to get this accomplished. So that explains your open enrollment period. I hope that the information in this video has been helpful. If you ever need help in making any of the decisions regarding getting ready for Medicare, if you need a Medicare supplement plan, if you would be better on a Medicare Advantage plan, what Part D prescription plan would be best for you, what forms that you need to get your open enrollment period set up, please give me a call. My services to you are always free, and we would be happy to go over all your options and help you in each step of the process. Again, my name is Billy Williams, Medicare Health Insurance Options. Our phone number is 800-499-1942.